being manipulated for profit is okay if it's still fun, right? Well, that's the kicker, really. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 games that are just ads. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be looking at video games whose primary purpose was to promote or sell you another product. Number 10, Zool, Ninja of the Nth Dimension. Developed by Gremlin Graphics, this 2D platformer has you running around as a gremlin ninja who must complete his training on Earth while collecting lollipops and candy. Sounds simple and, wait, was that a Chupa Chups billboard back there? Yes, this game advertises Chupa Chups, a Spanish candy company mostly known for their lollipops. While Zool is remembered fondly, we can't ignore the amount of times we see the Chupa Chups logo in just the first level. Believe it or not, this game was such a success that it spawned a sequel a year later, featuring just as many Chupa Chups ads as its predecessor. Well, at least it was fun, because we can't say that about some of the rest. Number 9, MC Kids. Ronald McDonald is often compared to Mickey Mouse in terms of mascot recognition. McDonald's capitalized on this for a while and released a handful of video games in the 1990s. Enter MC Kids, a platformer where two kids must retrieve Ronald's magic bag from the Hamburglar. Many of the game's elements were borrowed heavily from Super Mario Bros. 3 and Star Tropics, with most of the environments and power-ups taking the form of McDonald's products and golden arches, of course. While it's easy to hate on this game for its difficulty spike and never-ending ads of products and characters, we gotta give it some credit for game design and innovative physics. Hey, 1992 was a different time. Number 8. Yo Noid As popular enough as the Avoid the Noid campaign was, did it really deserve a video game? Call it a strange move, but Domino's Pizza joined the onslaught of platformer adver games in the 1990s with this title for the NES. The Noid must save New York City from his evil twin brother, and if he is to succeed, he shall be rewarded with pizza. Are you uh, hungry yet? Well, if not, maybe bonus levels of pizza eating contests will suffice. Look, Domino's, you could have just given us the dollar off coupons that were on the back of the box and called it a day. It would have saved us from the graphical glitches, insane difficulty, and nauseating movement to the environment. Number 7. Darkened Sky So, get this. Here, we have an action-adventure game set in a fantasy realm, telling the story about a young woman searching for her long-lost mother while battling creatures with her mystical staff. Now, what part of that tells you to start advertising Skittles? A Skittles, mysteriously unaffected by centuries of digestive activity. You see, marketing didn't want us to show us Skittles all narfed up from stomach juices, so they decided, I'll shut up now. Inspired by commercials encouraging consumers to taste the rainbow, the game has you collecting Skittles to power your staff in combat, a feature some critics described as creative, where others found it to be some of the most blatant product placement in video game history. But then again, they hadn't read this list. Either way, the advertisement was explicit and annoying, and the game was not well received, to put it generously. Number 6. Chex Quest Series Hang on a minute, this looks familiar. Nope, you aren't seeing a mod for Doom. This is Chex Quest, an FPS where players take on the role of the Chex Warrior to stop the invasion of goopy aliens called Flemoids. Where Doom had simple laboratories and walls covered in gore, Chex Quest had the company name blastered over most of the rooms, just in case you forgot that this was a Chex game somehow. Pickups for armor took shape in the form of what's called Chex Armor. Despite poor reviews, the product placement really worked, leading Chex sales to increase nearly 300%, allowing two more games to spawn, a few years apart from each other. Number 5. Chester Cheetah – Too Cool to Fool If lollipops, cereal, and fast food can have video games, why not cheesy, powdering snack foods too? 
Enter the Cheeto's mascot, Chester the Cheetah. Starring in this, guess what? 2D platformer where Chester must locate the missing parts of his motorcycle. And that's about it. While there's no direct acknowledgement of the finger licking food, the game lets the collectibles serve as the product placement. Health is represented by Cheeto's paws, and tokens are pictured with Cheeto's cracker tracks. Given the game's negative reception and discontinuation of Cheeto's paws, we can only guess that it ain't easy being cheesy. Number 4, America's Army Series. Before the Call of Duty franchise dominated the military shooter genre, we had this simulation game that promoted the United States Army. These games were designed as recruitment tools, giving gamers the reality of being in the military through virtual demonstration. Covering it. Enemy contact. Good fight. Despite its success and critical acclaim, as well as a few awards, the America's Army franchise has been criticized as a form of militainment, with some going as far as to call it propaganda, because, well, Come on, it basically is, right? Alpha Team, welcome to your first training exercise scenario at Griffin Base. One interesting aspect of this game's design was that while you fought teams of other players, no matter which side of the match you found yourself on, you'd always see yourself as Americans and the opposing team as not American. <laughs> Number three, Cool Spot. When it comes to junk food, we basically understand characters like Chester Cheetah getting a video game. At least there's something to work with there, but a red dot? This 2D platformer lets players control the mascot of 7up as they jump and shoot soda bubbles to rescue other cool spots. While the game doesn't advertise really heavily, the real spotlight is actually completing the game on hard mode. Upon completion, you are told to take a picture of the screen and send the photo to Virgin Games for the grand prize. So yes, the entire game was obviously part of a contest to promote 7up, with some reporting the grand prize ranging from such fantastic items as a small plastic toy or a couple of cases of the soda. Awesome. 7up. When you want the taste of un, there's only one. Number two, Sneak King. When it comes to video games, this is not Burger King's first rodeo. In Sneak King, customers roam the environment on empty stomachs, and it's up to our nightmare-inducing majesty to stalk, surprise, and serve them up a delicious meal that only the Burger King can provide. If this sort of thing were to happen in real life, we can only imagine it going something like this. Must have just been my- ah! I'm flame broiling in my pants! Releasing alongside Big Bumpin' and Pocket Bike Racer, which also promoted this nightmare fuel, Sneak King takes the cake, or a uh, whopper, for cooking up a large promotion for the fast food chain's individual products. Despite obtaining really poor reviews, the games reportedly increased Burger King sales by 40%, making the marketing stunt a full success. Before we place a product in our top spot, here are a few honorable mentions. I've popped a few parties in my time. Ladies loved it. Some of the men, too. Number one, Pepsi Man. Pepsi Man. He is the brave, the bold, and the savior to quench the thirst of many. He is Pepsi Man. <laughs> Here, players must navigate obstacle courses to save the thirsty people before the time runs out. Some levels are based off the commercials, like the red truck chase scene. Is that a Coca-Cola truck? Anyway. What sticks out from this game the most is the insane amount of promotion for Pepsi in the game. It's literally everywhere. Pepsi on the billboards, Pepsi on the trucks, City Pepsi, 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 Pepsi! Even the cutscenes serve as mini commercials with bizarre slogans like Pepsi for pizza to promote the product, complete with a spinning logo and all. We get it, Pepsi. You're Pepsi. He's Pepsi. Everything is and should always be Pepsi. We prefer Coke, though. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.